What's up YouTube and welcome back to another video here on the Shane Heap channel. Well if you clicked on this video that means I got you with the title. Can you stripe a lawn with a broom or can we attach this to our lawnmower and will it stripe it? Well I'm not even going to make you wait. Let's get right into it. I'm going to show you. Yeah it works. I'll step out of the way and you can see this was striped with the broom and I've actually got some footage where I'm going to compare striping it with this and without it. I'm going to show you how I mounted it. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to improve the mounting because basically I was sitting around on the couch one day it hit me. I said, man, I wonder what happened if I can use a broom to stripe the lawn versus buying one of those $200 rollers to go to my Time Master. So what I did is I figured out how to attach this. I'm actually going to improve it. So we're going to talk about my brainstorming ideas on this. Maybe a few of you are going to have better ideas and you can help me out. So with all that said, let's roll the intro. We'll get into today's video. First off, if you're new to the channel, this is my Bermuda and it's always a backyard. It has it mixed together here. And we're starting to kind of wind down on our season here. It's September here in North Carolina and we're just kind of slow down. I'm cutting this about every eight to 10 days and I was cutting it every three to four days. So we're really slowing down, but look, but the lawn still looks great as you can tell. Still got some good color here and I haven't fertilized in a while. Actually, it's been a, it's been a while. It's been probably two months since I fertilized last. So I'm gonna fertilize it one more time before the year's over with going into winter. We're going into fall as it starts to go dormant because this should stay green past Halloween at least. This normally stays green for me into November. My zoysia really does good about staying green longer. The Bermuda will probably check out sooner though. But enough with all that, let's get right into today's topic. All right, so first things first, you're going to see here a 24 inch broom. I'll repeat that 24 inch broom is the exact size between the two wheels of a Time Master. If you have a regular 22 inch or a 20 inch mower, you might actually have to trim this down a little bit or you might be able to buy a smaller broom, measure it before you go buy it. But for a Time Master 30 inch cut, a 24 inch broom fits perfectly between the two tire marks. So for my first rendition of this or my first attempt at it, I'm actually using hinges to mount the broom to the actual lawnmower itself because I wanted to be able to tilt the mower and the broom be able to ride up and down so I can actually turn it and you know pick up the front end, turn it around so that way I'm not always dragging the front wheels around but now after doing that I'm seeing that this is causing an issue for me when it comes backing up when you back up it tries to tilt underneath the mower so what you have to do is you have to push the mower down real far so that way it holds the broom up in an upright position and it keeps it off the bottom so then you can back up so if you've got to back up a lot in your yard you're probably going to want to try to do something a little bit different to mount it to your lawnmower so I'm going to use a fixed L bracket to hold the actual broom head on so that way when I back up it allows it to push back and it doesn't try to fold it under there like the hinges do or I might be able to use some type of system with a spring or something to help hold that up some so that way it doesn't try to fold under the mower every time. And when it comes to installing it, it was pretty simple. I just put my hinges, marked my holes, drilled the holes, put some bolts through, and then I actually used the holes that were already in the top of the, or the broom handle. I actually used the holes that were already in the top of the broom handle here to actually attach the brackets to or the hinges. So that way I didn't even have to make new holes. And I used the hardware that came with the broom itself actually. So what it is, I took the handle off, took the little bracket off, saved those two screws and put them back into the broom when I attached it to the actual hinges itself. And honestly, the whole thing took maybe 15 minutes to get it installed, it was really nothing. And it's one of those things where I like just tinkering around the garage and sometimes I can just come up with ideas and I'm like, hey, I should try this. So here I am trying it and I'm bringing it to you. It's not a completed design. It might need a little bit of work, but you can take it and run with it. And it's gonna save you a little bit of money because it actually does strike. So actually what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show a footage. I did a time lapse of I used the broom and actually did some stripes. And I come back and I took it off. I'm gonna lay the broom in the middle so that way it distinguishes the two separate sides here. And I'm gonna do it just the time master on the second side. And you're gonna be able to see it actually does make a difference when it comes to striping. Now, I wish I had a rolling kit for my Time Master so I could do it side by side and do a three-way comparison here, but maybe somebody that does have it can try it out and they can see how it works for them and let me know. I actually took a picture on my phone, which has got a shoddy lens, but it actually, shook, it actually came up better so you can see the difference between the stripes on the two sides here. And I'll put a little text on the bottom to distinguish which one is which. And now you can actually pick up these broom heads on Amazon for like 17 bucks, I think, for a 24 inch broom. And I think with that and the $5 for the brackets, you're gonna have about 22 to less than $25 in this whole thing. And you can't buy a roller for your mower for less than $100, $150. So for 25 bucks, it kind of works. And I also like when it drags behind the lawnmower, when you're mulching and you leave the clippings on top sometimes, the broom will actually sweep them in. It'll sort of knock those clippings down into the canopy a lot better. And actually, when you cut it now, like I mulched today, and there's not a single thing left on top here. And sometimes my Time Master does leave some clippings on top, but with the broom, it swept it right in. And that's pretty much it, guys. You can see it's a very short video, just a little quick little thing. Shows you, maybe you can try it out in your lawn, see how it works. I mean, for 24 bucks, I'll try it and not even know if it works or not. I'm showing you it does leave a pretty good stripe. For what it is, it works great. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apologize because next week there might not be a video coming out. I might have to skip a week here. It is the week my son is supposed to be born next weekend, so I'm probably gonna be a little behind when it comes to doing a video or not. We'll see if I can get one done beforehand. 
but wish me luck or wish us luck. I'm not, not really doing anything. So wish, wish my wife luck on this situation. She's going to need it more than I do, I think. But with all that said, this is Shane Heath, and I'll catch you in the next video.